Oh my... Not bad. Yeah, what did you think you were gonna do against a helicopter that has maneuvers like this? You can't hit this! My pilot in the front's like, if you don't stop, I'm gonna throw up. Hey everybody, welcome back to Lost on Steam episode like 46. I definitely didn't stop doing this show for like four weeks while I recovered and, you know, just kind of, you know, re reconfigured my brain space to be able to do this again. So here we are playing three more games probably never heard of. We're going to start with a game called Comanche. Here we go. Woo! Okay, so first up, here we go. Buckle up, put on your seatbelt or your your helicopter harness. We got, we got Comanche flying in on March 12th, 2020. Currently, you can pick this up for $20. Has less than 100 reviews. THQ Nordic made this one. Oh, did I just break the whole game? No, we're good. We're so good at games these days that I don't need to do tutorials. Are there people actually playing this game right now? Okay, check it out. I just checked. There are 12 people online. By the way, I'm so happy you asked. Today's tea is brought to you by Green Tea with Peach. Okay, I have been waiting 8 minutes and 14 seconds. This is not going to happen. We're going to play single player. Okay, so... Okay, all the controls... Uh-oh, hover mode. Ad. Stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. That's a lot of blips. Don't worry, I got... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, I've... Maybe. Okay. Right, you didn't even graduate, you idiot. Free fire, zone. free fire zone, got it. That just sounds like you made up a bunch of words. What else do I have here? Oh, I think those, I, okay, I fired some heat seeking missiles that time. Uh oh, I think we need to pull up a little bit. Nah, that's fine. Again, this is, you know, having, okay, let's just, can we get out of here? I'm not gonna say that the controls are extraordinarily difficult because I did not play the tutorial. That obviously is not the case. I know how to fly a helicopter, watch this. You can't do this kind of maneuver if you haven't done helicopter training before in real life. Let's, okay, okay, let's just, yeah, helicopters are hard. Okay, hold on, okay, 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 okay. Just watch. Boom, got him, probably, maybe. Pull up, pull up, pull up, way up, way up, pull way up. <laughs> okay. How are you, how are you doing? Okay, let's figure out how to fly. You know what, just flip it around the other way. It was just an advanced, whoa, the canyon's a little, little close. See how I did the lean? That's actually scientifically proven to help uh, in Mario Kart, Star Fox, and other games that have uh, piloting or otherwise vehicle driving. Uh, everyone knows that. Yeah, I, listen, I am trying to focus on not flipping my helicopter upside down. Let's get the f f heck out of here. What is, what is shoot, what? Oh, you, you guys think, what are you going to be able to shoot right now? Do you see my maneuvers? Okay, I think we're a little low. I think we're a tad low. Oh, I'm out of those, I'm out of those rockets. Okay, let's just, let's just take him out of the sky with one of those. Oh my, not shot, not bad. yeah, what did you think you were gonna do against a helicopter that has maneuvers like this? You can't hit this. My pilot in the front's like, if you don't stop, I'm gonna throw up. Hmm. Well, oh, hover mode. That's not even a little bit close. Uh, yeah, so I activated auto, auto target in there, which handled all of the mines, so I did not have to do anything at all. Oh, got him. Feels a, a tad bit like cheating when you can just, uh, turn on auto attack. It did kind of shoot every single mine there, kind of, uh, McCree style from Overwatch. I didn't even have to aim, it just took him out. Listen, is this the best helicopter game you could be playing right now? Probably, because I don't imagine, you know, the space for helicopter games is exactly, you know, wide and vast. So about this point, I'd, I'd imagine you're kind of asking yourself, like, 
How much do I like helicopter games? Because overall, that really is, that's gonna be the deciding fact. Oh, look at that, auto-targeting. I, I absolutely hit every single one of those guys. Hi, boat. Well, we haven't sunk it, so like, honestly, I've just, I'm doing such advanced moves that I don't, I don't expect you guys to be able to keep up with just the level. Okay, hitting with missiles actually kind of sucks. Okay, are we gonna continue through this canyon? No, we are not. No, we are not gonna continue through the canyon because honestly, uh, the, here's the problem with looking at games like I do often, right? Like this game I'm sure is fine. You know, there, there, there's not exactly like a, a wealth of helicopter games out there, especially ones that have a lot of controls, you know, and you have all the pitch and yaw and all that stuff, right? But for $20, I'm not feeling like whatever this is, is the $20 experience. It just feels like this is a helicopter game that came out way too early in, uh, in a game that has no population and you can't do a multiplayer game for 10 bucks, maybe? You know, if you really like helicopter, sure. Let's just keep moving, right? Okay, our next game is called Trailer Trashers. Trailer Trashers, right? Came out uh, March 26th, so very recently. It's 10 bucks, only has uh, seven user reviews. So you can play with bots, it sounds like, but you're, you're meant to play this with four people. I don't have any friends, so obviously I'm just gonna play. I did go to school once, kind of a, kind of a big deal. You know, it's big brain plays up here all day. As I say that, uh, probably would be really smart if I actually captured the game and wasn't just sitting on a on a black screen there. So let's just forget that that part happened. Oh God, got him. I already won and then I lost. So I'm not sure, okay. So the thing is, okay, first off, calm yourself. This is, this is very fast. There's a lot happening. I'm obviously winning a lot. Okay, st just, ah, the, it's actually a little bit tough to see where the bridges are because I've obviously, invisibility. You was following me the whole time. Stop, okay. I used invisibility, the CPU, I watched his cursor. Do you see that? Do you see his cursor just tracking me the entire time? I'm just gonna call right now, that's baloney. Where are you gonna go? You're gonna go this way? Well, I'm gonna go this way and get the sniper rifle. Watch this one shot, one kill. Okay, it's hard, harder than it looks. Hold on, four shots, one kill. I mean, as you can tell, obviously, there's a huge degree of skill involved in this game. A huge degree. Uh, planning, coordination, geometry, um, trigonometry, physics, and science. You know, you kind of have to have a grasp of all of those at a really high level uh, in order to really play this at, you know, the, the way that the developers meant it to be played. Also, it'd be really nice if I could see my own character when I went invisible because uh, I can't and I don't have an indicator. Which, you know, makes sense because otherwise everyone would be able to see you, but it doesn't matter because the CPU knows where you are anyway. So you may as well just give me an indicator too that would let me know uh, exactly where I am. I obviously won by a huge, huge number of points. Oh, look at that. He's, he's doing that. He's doing that dance just right, right there. Okay. Okay, so this is me. I'm gonna take shield because that seems smarter. This is team deathmatch. I don't actually know who's on my team. All right, sniper rifle. I'm gonna stand back. I'm gonna give my teammates some support. I killed myself, I think. I got him with the, sh okay, the bullets are still bouncing. Watch this. Watch this shield technique. Shield. Okay, doesn't work when someone comes up behind you, which is exactly what happened uh, there. He's just, my shots. Oh, I killed myself. Okay. Shield, shield, no damage. I think there's an invisible guy somewhere. Ask me how I know. Shield, got him. Double kill, okay. Invisible guy just comes out of nowhere, of course. Because of course he does. Where am I? Okay, it said mayhem. I'm gonna assume that means I'm doing exactly what I should be doing. I killed someone on accident. I'm just gonna sit here and fire shots. Okay, I got shot in the back. It happens fast, you know? One, one moment you think you're okay and then suddenly you're dead. So I had a score of 27. I killed myself three times. Um, the boss killed themselves respectively 15, 10, and, and 10 times, so listen, the AI is not great. If you have four very drunk friends together, 
I'm certain that you could find something else to be doing with your time that's not this that would be equally as fun. Just not, not the most tremendously fun game I've ever played. Let's keep going. All right, our last game is called Hyper Parasite. This came out April 3rd, 2020, so very recently. Normally is just under 20 bucks, about $18. Do I? Okay, so we're playing as a weird, goopy parasite. We have a... Uh... Okay, yep. I mean, stuff that's red, whenever you see a red container in a game, you know. Overlap an enemy with your possession cone. Okay, how do I overlap an enemy with my possession cone? Like that? Did we do it? Do I just have to sit here? Space. Oh, okay. Okay, so we possessed this guy and we have a shopping cart now because we are a homeless vagrant. Uh, but there's a game called Messiah way back in the early 2000s, late 90s on PC where you played this little angel named Bob and you would possess people in kind of a third person uh, game. Okay, yeah, so we have, we have this lady automatically pre-possessed and she just fires things, okay. All right. Okay. The, listen, the story is gripping, right? I really hate having to press enter in order to... What is... E, hold E to perform an upgrade. Parasite lives? We'll just take attack upgrades. Enter. Could add spacebar. Spacebar would have worked just fine because you could hit that with your left hand. That would just make sense as far as controls go, but obviously you didn't... Uh... Okay, so we're fighting uh, homeless people and guys with zappy guns. I don't... Oh, that that just... Okay. That just locks onto you. Well, check this out. I'm right outside of... I was going to say I was right outside of um, his, his range. Um, I was outside of his range. Um, the outskirts. The range that I was not outside of was the guy directly next to me. And I guess we want to go left. So the idea of this game where you're possessing stuff and going from area to area is really cool. But the execution on this, where it's just like these random people, you know, and there's not really, there's not really any rhyme or reason to what's going on, is not quite as cool. This would be so neat if this was kind of an RPG or a, uh, you know, just a, a game with a story where you had to like sneak and possess different people and things like that. Uh, I guess we'll go right. That looks like a boss. Yeah, we're gonna face double trouble. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna we're gonna face it. Double trouble. Obviously, it's very serious. So I can't possess any of these people, which is a little bit problematic. Because if I get hit, I am going to just instantly die. So I guess we'll try to not get hit. Oh, am I just supposed to take out their cars? Oh, it looks like I'm just supposed to take out their cars. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah, has a gun. Has a gun. Has a gun. Of course it does. Okay, they both have guns for some reason. If I had a body, I'd be able to actually do some real damage. So yeah, I'm gonna eventually die here and, oh wait, can I possess that guy now? Hold on, I think that guy got, he got possessable right when uh, I, I just got, I just got shot. You know, could you imagine a game like, let's just say Deus Ex, right? Like Mankind Divided, where you could possess people you just go around stealthing or a Sam Fisher splinter cell kind of a game where you could possess and like, uh, you know, infiltrate and do all that kind of stuff. But it was just moving from body to body. That was more like what that game uh, Messiah was like. You know, there was a lot to do and you had to infiltrate these areas and it was RPG style and it was just such a good game. I don't know that it's playable anymore. Because it was it was fairly uh, it was it is fairly old, and so I'm not sure that the graphics or style hold up today. But it was at that time when like Black Isle games were coming out, and they were all about humor and RPG and all that stuff. Okay, I killed that guy, but really, what I want to do is get that lock off of him. 
But I don't know that's that's something that oh wait wait wait. Got him! Sometimes we get uh Okay. Okay, we lost another person. This is actually actually pretty difficult. I don't know if the lock Wait, dodging doesn't make you invulnerable? I thought that was the whole point of dodging. Maybe I hit it at the very end of my... Okay, we're gonna go back to the main menu. Co-op could be fun in this game, but here's the thing. They had such a cool idea that I felt like they... are They kind of wasted. Even if they had done the same pixel style as that game Streets of Rogue, I think even that would have been a huge upgrade to just the bullet hell moving through a randomly generated area that you don't care about, right? Uh, anyway, it's a cool game. I think if you got it on discount, it would be fun and you could do, you know, all these upgrades and stuff like that. But for me, it's just kind of like, eh, it doesn't really do it for me. Anyway, let's wrap this one up, right? Anyway, yeah, so that's it. That's episode 46. Hopefully you guys had a good time. Hopefully you found a game that maybe you enjoyed, you know, because our tastes are never going to be the same, right? So maybe one of these games really, really calls to you. Maybe you're the kind of person that just loves playing color by numbers games, right? And, you know, sometime, sometime I might review one of those and say this game is awful. I would never play this. But you just love coloring, right? So don't take it so harshly, you know. Even if I say these games aren't my jam, they might be your jam. You know, don't get upset about yourself. Anyway, I got to thank all my Patreon subs you know who you are because I put your names up you know I really can't I mean I could do this without you but uh, it does help a great deal uh, but yeah that's it this was episode 46 we're not stopping in fact there, I only have plans to do more stuff in the future and maybe like another split off show with with uh, everyone's favorite hop instead of jump more details on that coming later but it, again hopefully you enjoy this hopefully this is something you just wind down your day with on a Sunday night or a Monday afternoon or Monday morning or you just, just watch it whatever day you pictures watch it okay until next time. Bright, everybody.